Hey, what's up, everybody? It's your girl, Drika, and I'm back with another video. Yes, it's our first time on YouTube, and it's our second video. I promise you guys that I'll try to get videos as recent as possible. Um, I've been really ill for the past couple weeks, so it's kind of hard, you know, to be back and forth. And I was dealing with work and stuff like that. So, um, let me formally introduce myself. My name is Drika. I'm 18 years old, and I'm married to my husband, Sean. He's no longer in this video right now. This video. He's out there playing games. I'll show you guys him later on in the video. But I'm here. I'm just going to do a video with you guys. It's a little story time about Chris Brown, what I saw on Netflix. I was watching Netflix today, guys. If you don't have it, you should download it, Netflix, and watch it. It's really nice. Now, um... Based on the video, he was basically talking about his life and everything. It was kind of interesting. I didn't really bother because I don't bother into watching stuff like that. But I was looking for a movie and then I ended up clicking it and watching it. So it was really interesting and I've learned a few things. And I just want to speak on my behalf. I know what it is to go through. To me, it seems as if he had a rough childhood and he was afraid of becoming someone that he didn't want it to become and he ended up becoming that person and that's what he did to Rihanna um that's the same thing here in child from my childhood I always want I always dreamed of a fairy tale like the perfect life and everything but I got the total opposite um I've been raped at a very young age and it wasn't easy and I've been abused I've been lied on I've been all over social media <sighs> I've been everywhere, and it was humiliating, I was embarrassed, I was depressed, I was even in a suicide state, I tried to kill myself, plenty of times I ended up in a hospital for overdose and stuff, I'm not proud of it, but I don't regret it, um, because if, if I had the chance to do it all over again, I wouldn't, I'll do the same thing, right over again, I'll do the same thing, because it was just a lesson, Every, everything is either a blessing or a lesson to me, and that's what I think. Everything is a lesson or a blessing. So, I actually admire myself. And it's a, like a, it's a journey I have to go on to reach my destiny. Not everything is going to be okay. It's going to be rough times. And that's what I understand. But Chris Brown, he went through some things. He went, he, he went to rock bottom. He literally went to rock bottom. And he found himself right up. The, one thing, one good thing that I could say about him, he's very determined even in its lowest state, he still had the mind to say, "Well, hey, I come, I gotta do what I, what I, what I dream of doing. I gotta do and become this person that I want to become," and that's what he's done. And I really admire him as a male figure, you know, because man, y'all just have to watch the video to truly understand it. If you haven't watched it, download Netflix. If you don't have it, and search up Chris Brown on comedies. And it was, you see Chris Brown, welcome to my life. It's really interesting and nice and it's very understanding. It's good to know the truth behind all of the paparazzi things they be posting and stuff on YouTube. Bunch of lies and stuff. But you get, and the good thing about the video is that you get the truth. You get everything. You got the videos of everything that happened. You got the words coming out of his mouth, not edited or anything. It's just straight clean cut. He's explaining himself how he felt and everything. And I respect him as a man. I respect him pretty much. He's a good man. Now, now let's see. I have a few question and answers that I've had. And would you rather? But I'll just list a, a few. I'll list a few before I end the video. Yes, this video isn't going to be long because I just said, well, hey. Because, to be honest, if I could be real with you guys, when I first uploaded the first video, I was kind of embarrassed by myself. I was like, you know, this video won't go nowhere. I posted up on YouTube. I wanted to take it down. I said, let me just leave it. I was like, oh, we won't get no views. Nobody will watch us or anything. Until I actually look at it. And I was like, almost a thousand views. And I was like, people was actually watching this video. And I actually hated it. And I was like, wow, they actually watched this video. And I was like, okay, let me do a video. And now I'm here doing a video, live and uncut. Now, let me see some 
some question and answers. Okay. One of the questions was, why did you get married so young? Mm, why did I get married so young? My answer to that is, when I, when I was a little girl, um, I always dreamt of being in a relationship with a guy from high school. And as we graduate and stuff, we will get married and stuff and have kids. That was like always my fairy tale, my dream. And it actually played, it actually came to pass. Um, me and my husband was together from high school, but we knew each other for a very, very long time. And we just started to get serious when I went to see our Walker Senior High School. And things took off from there. And no, I don't have any kids. So that was not the reason why we got married. And also, it was something I want to do. I don't want to live my life committing fornication. I want to live my life just randomly having sex with somebody and they're not my husband. I want to be able to call somebody my own and know that, well, hey, he's mine. We're married. So I won't have to worry about anything. I am, you know, comfortable giving my body to only him without have to worry about him working on my life because now we can't, to be honest, can be married. But that was one of the reasons. And because I love him dearly, I love him so much. That's the reason why I marry him. He's a great male figure. And I think he'll make a great father someday. Because he's already a great husband to me. I mean, no marriage is perfect. So they're going to always have problems and stuff. So I actually admire that. And next question. Oh. Would you rather, what? Would you rather be homeless or sleep with another guy for somewhere to stay? Okay. Um, sorry guys, I have to keep locking my phone. It is locked really fast. Like after a couple five seconds, it is turn off. Um, to be honest, I'd rather be homeless. I feel more, I feel more happy homeless than to be sleeping with somebody else just for a place to stay. I wouldn't feel comfortable. Like I wouldn't be. I me, I'm a type of person I like to earn stuff. Like I don't like. Everything handed to me on a silver platter. I like to work and earn my stuff, you know, in a good way, not a bad way. So I won't, I feel like a prostitute if I do that. I don't feel comfortable just laying with somebody just to get a roof over my head. I'd rather be homeless and try to find a way. I'll feel more comfortable and peace in the mind, homeless, than be sleeping with somebody else. Because what if that person ended up getting me pregnant, but it was only a one night stand? Or what if I get some type of disease or STD, STIs, you know? All that stuff, just doing getting an STD or a sickness just for a roof over your head is not worth it. I'd rather be homeless and be healthy than to be sick and have a roof over my head, to be honest. And um, the next question is, what would you like to do when you get older? In other words, where do you see yourself like in five to ten years? Okay, where do I see myself? I see myself five to ten years from now with a family, of course. I'm not sure how many kids, but with a family. Um, I see myself with an accounting firm. I've always wanted to open up an accounting firm. So by then, I'll finish college and I'll be able to open up my own and start my own accounting firm. With my husband having his own veterinarian shop, pet store, pet clinic, something like that. And I can also see myself as a successful YouTuber. Not just a YouTuber, but a successful counselor. And someone who people admire, look up to. And and I want to have a, like a, a huge impact on people, on people's lives just by, you know, what I give out to them. Because what you give to the world, you can't take back. So... 
I just want to give up positive vibes to everybody so I can get the same thing back. So that's what I see myself, to be honest. But that's enough quest um, questions. I To look through all of them is just too much. But that's me. Now let's talk about more about myself. Um, let's see. I am... Um, I'm a dancer, um, to be honest. I haven't... One of these days, I promise you guys, I'll post a video of me dancing. Um, so you guys can see. But I'm a dancer. I love dancing. Dancing is my hobby. I love dancing. And basically, everybody know me for dancing. I love dancing, to be honest. And what else I do? I, um, I'm a writer. I love to write poems. I love to write raps. I write songs. I can sing, but not a good, 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 not, you know, like them professionals, no, but I can sing, and I love to rap, so I normally write, I had, I had a whole book with songs and raps I've done, but I can't find the books, I just write, if I'm sad, I write, if I'm mad, I write, if I'm depressed, I write, if I'm happy, I write, everything, I take it out on a pen and a piece of paper. And I just write it out. And it get me through a lot of things, to be honest. It did. It, it prevented plenty suicide. Like, to be honest. A lot. But, like I said, you know, I'm a writer. And that's something I love to do. You know? You guys should try it instead of... Or some people, they normally get something they squish to calm them down. You know? But writing calms me down. Or listening to music. Okay, now let me just talk about marriage, highlight marriage for you guys. For those that are married or planning to get married or about to get married, just keep in mind that it's not going to be easy. Take it from somebody who's already married. I've been married for like eight to nine months. It's not going to be easy. Many people say like the first five years of the rough. No, the whole entire marriage is rough because... You're going to, especially if you get married young, you're going to want to explore and stuff like that. But you have to remember, well, hey, I married this person, so we have to explore together. You gave up your life just to be with that person, so you now have to adapt to whatever comes to the table, continue, um, maintaining you too, you know? But marriage is not easy you're gonna go through but you have to remember you can't just throw in the towel you can't just walk away as if your boyfriend and girlfriend you have to stay and you have to stick through it you can't just pick up your bags and go no more it's you in this forever you're in this together that's something you stuck with you know and i don't believe in divorce you know i, I me personally i mean the bible does says that if, if if one or the male or female commits adultery then they can marry they could get a divorce, I mean. But I still don't believe in divorce. Dep I, I believe depending on how far the situation gets, then probably. But if it's something I feel as if I could work, but it'll take time. It wouldn't be like, okay, be back together. No. It'll take time for us to get back on a good track. But I'll never just leave just because of some silly mistake. We all make mistakes, but we gotta just take it out because it says for bad or for worse, so you gotta stick together. But that's my input, so keep that in mind. Um, like I said, for everybody that don't know, I'm Drika. If you like, if you're watching this video right now, please go and subscribe and like to this channel, Drika at Drika and Deshawn. You can go and like it and subscribe, please. Also. At, don't forget to add me on Facebook. Don't forget to add me on Snapchat. Okay? And you can DM me as well. See you guys later. Thanks for watching this video.